Hey, what's up guys? CJ here with another quick tip. Today we're going to jump back into Adobe Illustrator where I'm going to show you my simple technique for producing this 3D effect on your lettering. Um, it's using the blend tool, super easy, super quick. So let's jump right in and I'm going to show you how it works. All right, so now that we're in Illustrator, um, I have the word blend created. And this doesn't just work with type, it works with kind of any shape, anything that you create, you can kind of do this effect on it. So let's select our artwork, and then we're going to go Object, Path, Offset Path. Um, so your settings may vary, but I like to do a decent little offset. So I'm going to do 15 pixels, hit OK, and then I'm going to come to Swatches, and I'm going to fill that thing with a different color. I'm just going to select Black, and I'm going to deselect it. All right, so when it creates that offset path, it puts it in a group. So we can ungroup that thing. If you don't know what ungroup is, it's under object and then ungroup. Remember your quick keys, that is command shift G will ungroup it for you. So let's ungroup and then select only our black shape. All right. Now we can bring this thing to the front. And for me, just to be safe, I usually do a Pathfinder Unite just to make it one solid shape. We have this little um, opening here, but that doesn't matter. So now we're gonna select our offset shape and we are gonna hold down Alt on the keyboard. Um, not sure what that is, Windows, sorry. Um, but you're gonna basically you're gonna duplicate this thing. So when you when you have the duplicate ready, you're gonna see those two arrows pop up. Boom, boom. And then we are gonna hold down shift as we drag so that it can kind of put it at this nice 45 degree. And then this is also your exploration with your artwork. The distance is up to you. I'm just gonna go right here for right now. And then I'm gonna send it to the back. So that's object, arrange, send to back. And now I'm gonna select both of these offset paths, these two shapes that we have now created. And I'm gonna go object blend make. And now it's gonna give me just a one step blend. Um, so we're gonna have to jump back into uh, the settings. So let's go object blend, blend options. And let's change this to specified steps. And depending on the size of your file and your artwork, this may vary as well, but I usually get away with about 50. Um, and then we're going to hit OK. Now when we zoom in here, we have this nice smooth uh, 3D type effect. So let me send it to the back so you can see what's going on. So it has this little 3D effect. kind of looks like it's sitting on a ground plane right here. And uh, it's going backwards. But what's cool about this is now that you have this blend created, you can come in here. You can select that back shape. And then you can move this thing around and that blend will just shift to your artwork. So now we can create it down here at this kind of 45 downward look. Um, and yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, like I said, a quick one, but I uh, hope you learned something new. All right, guys, so that's it for today. And like I mentioned, it was quick, but I still hope you learned something new. If you did learn something new today, I would really appreciate it if you like, commented, or shared this with some friends. And if you have a tutorial in mind, go ahead and drop a comment below, shoot me a DM on Instagram, send me an email, call me, text me, do whatever you gotta do to get me that question, and I'll make a tutorial for you. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already to be updated on future posts that I make. And as always, Thank you to Danny Hennon for producing this music for me, and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.